the scenes in Kabul unfold, leaders of the international community have voiced their shock and concern at the fate which awaits Afghanistan. On Monday, President Emmanuel Macron promised that France would not abandon Afghans who helped his country, with two transport military aircraft set to land in Kabul in the coming hours. With the risk of a new wave of migrants sweeping towards the continent, Macron also urged other European nations to band together to build a robust and coordinated response. J'ai échangé sur ce point avec le Premier ministre Johnson et nous prendrons des initiatives communes dans les prochaines heures. Le retour de la stabilité passera par une telle action politique et diplomatique au sein du Conseil de sécurité. Boris Johnson is meanwhile set to launch a new UK resettlement scheme for Afghans most in need of help and will be hosting a G7 meeting in the coming days to discuss safeguarding Afghanistan's future. Elsewhere on Monday, the United Nations pledged to have its agencies remain on Afghan soil. At an emergency Security Council meeting, Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez warned of a chilling curb on human rights. And I am particularly concerned by accounts of mounting human rights violations against the women and girls of Afghanistan who fear a return to the darkest days. The following days will be pivotal the world is watching, we cannot and must not abandon the people of Afghanistan. Despite the Taliban still being classified as a terrorist organization in Russia, the country's ambassador to Afghanistan said it would suspend judgment on the regime based on its future conduct while keeping its diplomats in Kabul. China, however, said it was ready to deepen friendly and cooperative relations with the Taliban-led government, a position echoed closely by Iran.